Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 18th of 2022. Well, it is titled a filament in Monoceros. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a region in the constellation of the unicorn Monoceros. And within it, we see regions of star formation. Now we see a couple of different nebulae here. And the two primary ones are on the left hand side IC447 and on the right IC446 down towards the bottom there. Now the blue color that we see with these is an example of a reflection nebula. Now a reflection nebula occurs when there is dust around stars that have formed and especially very hot young stars. Those young hot stars are many times hotter than our own sun and therefore give off a lot more energetic radiation specifically ultraviolet light. Now we can't see ultraviolet light. So what we see is the blue portion of the spectrum, the shorter wavelengths. And that light gets reflected off the dust grains, which are also uh, biased towards being able to more easily reflect that blue light. So the blue light is more easily scattered by those dust particles around these stars, giving it that distinct blue color. Now the filament we see stretches from IC447 to IC446 and it's that dark dust lane that kind of appears to connect them. The darker area is a denser regions of dust. So while the blue areas are less dense dust, dust, the darker areas are the denser regions, which are the places where stars are still in the process of forming. And we can see some knots within that some darker compact areas, especially towards the middle of IC 447. And then off to the edge of to the left edge of IC 446. And those are denser areas where stars are in the process of collapsing right now. Now the star formation process takes a long time and can take a million years for stars to collapse and form. So if we watch this over hundreds of thousands of years, new stars would begin to emerge. And in fact, we see some of those very young stellar objects, uh, especially in IC 446, the reddish area, kind of in between the blue and the dark areas, are young stars that have just formed, just coming out of their cocoon areas from which they formed. So we get to see a diff several different stages within the star formation process from those just beginning to form in the dark neb dark nebulae uh, to the blue reflection nebulae nebulae where the stars have already formed and are now just scattering some of their light off the dust left over from their formation. So that was our picture of the day for March 18th of 2022. It was titled A Filament in Monoceros. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Previewed to be 2 mass J1755 4042 plus 655 1277. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.